Okay, so if you look to add subscription in your Flutter app, then this video is for you. I will show you step by step how to do it with Adaptee. But why Adaptee? Well, it's super simple to use. It's absolutely free if you make under 10K per month. And because Adaptee is the sponsor of this video, and I will give $300 away for one of you. The only thing you have to do is to go on Twitter, share this video and tag Flutter Map and Adaptee. For more information about the giveaway, you can check in the description. And if you don't want to miss future giveaway like this, make sure to subscribe. Okay, so you want to create an app purchase subscription with Flutter. We will do this with Adaptee and this will be a three-step process. First, we need to set up the subscription in the store listing. Then we'll go on adaptee.io and create our project. We will finish by coding everything with Flutter. All right, so let's start with Google Play Console. First, you will log in and you will create your own app. For me, I will select an app that I have already created. Then you will go inside the subscription tab and you will create a subscription. You can see that I have already created three of them. If I click on the first one, you will see that we see the product ID. Remember this because we will need it later. And that's all we need to do for Google Play Console. Now let's go on adaptee.io. If you don't have an account, you will need to create one. After this, I will create a new app inside Adaptee. And I will go in the Home tab. The quick start guide that you see on the screen is all the steps that we will do inside this video. I will click on Install Adaptee Subscription SDK. The first thing to do is to add the dependency in Flutter. So I will go inside the popspec.yalm and I will add the Adaptee Flutter package and the Intel package. We will need both of them. Make sure you run the Flutter pub get command. After this, we will go inside the configuration section. If you want to do it with iOS, you can add this code inside the info.plist. But in this video, we will just do the Android part. So I will click on the Android manifest and I will copy all this code. Next, we will go back inside our Flutter project. I will click in the folder Android, app, source, main, and Android manifest. Right there, you will add the code. Make sure it looks exactly the same. Now we can go in the next section, the store configuration. For this example, I will skip the Apple store, but keep in mind that all the documentation is available. So for the Play Store, we will need to have the package name. You can find this in the Google Play Console inside the Dashboard tab and it's right there in front of you. You will need to copy paste this information inside the package name of Adaptee. Next, we need to have the JSON key. For this, we will follow the instruction together. But first, take a sip of coffee because this is a couple of steps. I will try to make it as simple as possible. To have this JSON key, we will need to go back inside the Google Play Console where we have all our application. You will go inside the tab API access, and you will have two options. If you already have a Google Cloud project, you can select it. But in this example, I will create a new one. I will click on save, and then I will click on view in Google Cloud platform. Once you're there, you will open the menu and you will go in the tab IAM and admin. Then you will find the services account. You can click on the button, create a services account. Fill up the services account name. I will write Adaptee Play Console account. Then click on create and continue. For the role, we will select owner and click on continue. After this, you can click on done to finish this step. Great, so you created your first services account. You can click on it and go inside the keys tab. Next, you will click on add a key, create a new key, and this one will be the JSON and you will click on create. Make sure that you save this JSON key inside a folder that you will remember because we will need it later. Once this is done, you will go back in the Google Play Console in the API Access tab and you will click on Refresh. You should be able to see the new services account that you just created. Then you will click on Manage Play Console Permissions. Under the tab Account Permission, you will go down and you will select the two checkbox inside the financial data. You can now click on Invite User and Send Invite. Next, we will go back inside Adaptee.io and upload the key that we have downloaded. This one will be inside the Services Account key file. You can now click on Save. I will minimize the store configuration step. Okay, so this was the artist part. So let's keep going. And the last step is the Make Your First Purchases. Since the first step is optional, we will start with the step number two, set up your product. And I will click on the button to go inside this page. I will click on create a product. 
The name will be weekly subscription. The period will be weekly. And for the Play Store product ID, I will need to go back inside Google Play Console. I will find my application and go in the tab subscriptions. Because I know that my test tree subscription is a weekly subscription, I will take this one. I will copy the Play Store product ID and paste it inside Adapti. Next, you can click on save. And now I will do the same thing for two other products one monthly subscription and one yearly subscription. You can see that now I have three different products. It's now time to close the tab and go back inside this configuration. The step number three is to create a paywall. So you will click on the button create a paywall. This will bring you to another page where you will again click on create a paywall. You will need to put the name and the paywall ID. After this, you can click on add a product and I will make sure to add the three products that we have created earlier. With this, you can click on save and publish. All right, so now you can close the page and that's pretty much everything we had to do with adapti.io. It's now time to go back inside our Flutter project and code everything. In your library, you will need to create three different folders, helpers, screen, and widgets. Then inside the widget folder, you will need to create three files, details row, details container, and error dialog. If you just want to copy paste the code, I will show you where you can find it. First, you go back inside Adapti, you click in the install Adapti subscription SDK, then you will click on Flutter, view GitHub. You should have an example where you can click on library and widget folder. And from there, you can just copy paste all the code. I will also show you my code so you can pause and compare. You can do the same thing for the helpers folder for the file value.string.dart. This is what you should have. But for the folder screens, the code will be different. So I will show you step-by-step step how to do it. First, you will need to create five files, the main, the paywalls, the products, the purchase info, and the subscriptions. We will start with the paywalls screen.dart. You will need to create a stateful widget with an argument paywalls. This is a list of adaptive paywall. Inside the build, you will create the paywalls, which is equal to the widget dot paywalls. The scaffold will return a nav bar and a body. Inside this one, you will create a condition. If the paywalls are not null and are not empty, then it will be a listview.builder. Otherwise, it will be a text widget. The item count will be the paywalls.length. In the item builder, we will define the current paywall and also a final details. In this example, we will not use the details, but this might help you in the future. After, we will return a padding widget. We will have a column inside. And in the list of widgets, we will have an image asset, a sized box, a text widget, another sized box, and then a condition if the paywall.product is not null, then display the listview.builder. The item count will be the paywall.products.length. And inside the item builder, we will define the current product. This one will return a gesture detector. When we press on it, this will set state and set the selected item to the current index. The child will be a card widget with inside a list style widget. The leading will be a wrap widget. And inside we have three texts, the subscription period, the currency symbol, and the price. The trailing will be an icon that will be displayed only if the selected item is equal to the current index. Then after this, we will say if the paywall.products is not null, then we will display the elevated button. And in the onPress function, if the selected icon is not equal to null, then we will try to call the adapti.make a purchase. And then we will make sure to catch all the possible errors. We will finish with a divider widget. With this, we can now go inside the main screen.dart and create two variables inside the stateful widget, the boolean loading and the restore purchase result called res. In the init state, we will try to call the adapti.activate and catch the possible errors. We need also to create a future boolean named the call adapti method. We will use this one multiple times. We start with a boolean success set as true, then we set state the loading as true. We then try to await the method passed as an argument. If there is an error, then we will catch it and set the success as false. Next, we recall the set state with the loading set as false. With all this, we can return the success boolean. Okay, so inside the scaffold, we create a nav bar. And for the body, we use a center widget. If it's currently loading, then we will display a circular progress indicator. Otherwise, it will be a list view. Inside, we have an image asset, an align widget with the elevated button inside. 
when we press on it, we will declare a variable paywalls result, then call the future call adapti method, which we just created before. Inside, we define the paywall result to the await of adapti.getPaywalls. Then we receive the value success as true or false. If it's true, then we will call the navigator.ofContext. And this will push the paywalls screen. This is the screen we created just before this one. For the main.dart, you just need to return in the home the main screen. Okay, so right now your application should work for subscriptions. But if it doesn't work, I have two solutions for you. First, try to release your application in internal testing. And if it still don't work, just wait for a little bit. Because sometimes it will take a couple hours for subscription to actually work. But now there is two other things I want to show you in this video. One, how to display every product in one place. And second, how to restore purchases. So let's do this right now. For the product screen, you can copy paste the code from the GitHub. On my side, I have made some changes, but overall it should be the same. You can also copy paste the code for the purchase info and the subscription screen. And this is the code you should have for the purchase info and this for the subscription screen. Once you have it, you can go inside the main screen and we will need to add the list tiles. The first one have the title get products and inside the untap, we initiate a variable products. Then we use the call adapti method. The paywalls will be equal to adapti.getPaywalls. We will force the update to false, but you can put this as true if you want. And then the products will be equal to the paywalls.products. Then if it's successful, it will return a true value and we will be able to navigate inside the products screen. The next list style will have the text restore purchases and the untap will trigger the call adapti method. Inside, we will set the rest to the await restore purchases. If you remember, we have defined this at the top of the code. And then with this, we will be able to say if the rest is not null, then display a list style with the title purchaser info. The untap will trigger the call adapti method. If the rest.purchaser info is not null, then we will be able to navigate inside the purchaser info screen. With all this, you can restore purchases from users. The purchaser info will give you all the information you need. So that was how to create a subscription payment with Adapti. Keep in mind that you can also create A-B testing paywalls. So that's it for this one and I see you in the next video. Bye.